day. Uh, so on my last uh, development session for um, converting an LMAP to Gleam and Luster, kind of ended in a bit of a failure, um, not being able to decode um, some adjacent field. Um, and so I reviewed that video afterwards and there's a couple of little things that I thought, oops, I probably should have looked at that a little bit more closely. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so where were we? the problems I was seeing, uh, let's see, in the internal data, right, first thing I really should import this Gleam uh, JSON. <laughs> At the moment it's not there so let's do that let's get out of here do that cleanly so i need to actually import the gleam json package never did that oops wrong place really not awake yet all right source ui okay that's fine. So hopefully, cool. All right. So that'll help, hopefully. Um, and then I saw some weirdness in what I was getting back from the decode. It wasn't quite what I expected in some places. It seemed to have been sort of nested. Uh, so, I need to check what that is somehow. Um, before I do this. Um, maybe... Can I just chuck it through... Um, it's IO debug. Don't have IO. Right. I think that should work because that's part of the standardy stuff that I've already got. So will that output anything? All right, so that's an error. Error, unexpected byte. Quote. What? Position zero. Interesting. Let's go look at my JSON that I'm passing in. Oh yeah, because that was the other thing. So I kept meaning to go back and clean up this JSON. It's using single quotes and that's not allowed. So that's what I've got to do. Now I'm not sure that's going to do the do. Try that. Still a problem. Okay. So what I probably need to do is this. You also need to quote keys usually. Let's see what happens there. Success. Wow, okay. Um, let's test that. If I take out the one, we're getting, yeah, so that's should be false, but I'm getting, yeah, so that's doing the right thing because it should be true false but i've broken it 
so it comes so it's a false if i put the one why is it okay okay Okay, in it, okay. So it's wrapped. Oh, and it's there as well. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, yeah, so. That... It's interesting that it's working though. So what I've got here. Right. So I didn't want to use a type here of a custom type. I just wanted to create a value. Um, I could create a type that would make it clearer. But anyway, an OK basically can carry anything. So that's why I used it. And then the result is good. So that's an OK. Wrap in the OK I made. Right, OK, so that makes sense but not very useful. It's not quite right. It's interesting that that Hold on a minute. One wrap in here. So I've got I've got OK value. That's right. OK, that's what I remember. I saw in the video that what I was getting back was that wrapped, and I can and I struggled with that, put plucking out the value, and then checking to see whether it was an OK one which is exactly what I've done there. And that returns true. But the problem is... No, that's fine. But what I'd really like to do or should do, is just have something like that. And say, if that's okay, so if we get an okay one back as the actual value, then that's true. Yeah, see, this is the problem. Result, result. Hmm, so that'll fail now. Let's look at the docky docs. So, uh, where do I want to go? Hex docs, clean standard lip. So we're getting a result. Oh, 
<laughs> okay. First hit, well, second hit. There was all, but I don't want to do all. Because that's past and loads. That's a list. But flatten. Merges a nested result into a single. So that's basically going looking for the most, obviously the innermost result and plucks that out. Okay, let's try that. Um, oh, well, I'm going to need to do this. Um, da, 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 da. I could, I guess, do this. I'd rather keep it that I use the whole thing. So that's going to clash there, I presume. I just call it, don't I? Uh, so I'm assuming that this is not a good idea. That result dot flatten result is not going to go well. We'll see. Oh, it worked. I don't like that though. <laughs> That's a little bit. Let's do um. Let's do a different name here. Uh, I could, I could just pull in a flat on its own, but then you lose context as to what flatten. And I bet there's more than one flatten. So let's um, let's just call this vowel. Um. Okay, we can get rid of that now. We're seeing that okay. I'll just switch. Oh, no, wrong one. Do that one. Success. Okay. So in theory, we are now decoding a Boolean. So what should be happening is this is put in a true for auto fresh in the model when it calls the decode bool string. Okay. Um, Should probably test that better. So we have that. Um, let's do what if we have an empty object? I reckon that this will fail now and because this auto refresh should be false. Yep. So that tests that an empty one is, yeah, that's good. Um, okay, what if we get really hard? What if it's just nothing in there? Oops. Okay, that works. What if I just switch that to true to make sure? Yep. Okay. Uh, 
and I presume yeah that's just not going to work anyway to pass in so that's fine okay so I have to pass something in and am I, am I making that a string yeah so that's a string there on decode flags and a decode bool string is a string and then a name and am I passing that in on the UI as flags okay there and there so it strings all the way down, which is what I think I'll need when I actually use it for real, because I need to pass in a JSON string to make sure I know what I've got. Okay. Um, okay, so we have that. What if we pass um, an empty string? Yeah, turn that to false. Pass. Okay, so we've got that bit of JSON being decoded. Um, so let's now do one of the other fields. Um, let's do actually no. We'll do this one. Uh, what field do we want to do? Uh, so we want to do example events. Oh, this is going to get fun, isn't it? As I build this up, it's going to get longer and longer. Hmm. Yeah, as soon as I enable this, it's going to expect. Yeah, OK. It's not good for the tests. Not for that one. Let's get a copy of that for just testing the bool. Did I call that a function? Decode. Deco bool string. Yeah, 
that's okay. Just rename these. Okay. Let's do switch that back. Ah, yep. Okay, so here I need to. Pass in the field. So let's not do I guess it doesn't matter actually. So that was 24, so that should work now. And I should get puts back here. Yep, yeah, 27. Still false. Okay. And then here we've got the string. And again, auto refresh. And it's full still. Thirty-three is good, 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 and then here the final one. We just want true. Okay, cool. Right. Now we're cooking. So here we're good until we re enable this example events. So on the model one. Yeah. So we're going to do example. 
events. Uh, we'll do full spy at first. And then auto. Oops. Train characters. Should have just typed it, would have been quicker. Oh, why am I getting that wrong? We're trailing characters. Example events. Well, I don't even need that. Take that. Okay. What? Total fail here. Auto, yeah. Substitute auto. There's example events. Surely not that. Auto. Oh, I give up. I don't know what's going on there. Why is that doing that? Anyway, um, so we'll just do one by one. And then I'll test them as we go along. So that's saying 69. Oh, I was going to change anyway. Model, blah, blah, blah. Can't see all the errors now. Okay. That's as expected, I think. It's in a weird place for me for it to understand what's going on. And then with this last one, and it's still a problem. This school accepts these additional labeled arguments. Oh, of course, I haven't actually fixed up the uh, decoder. So here, I need that. Should have looked at the thing. Okay, there we go. Uh, so I've got a few warnings there. Yeah, in the view, I'm not really using anything at the moment. I should. Um, let's get a shot of those warnings because that is annoying. So let's simplify things down here. We're not using that anymore. We are just not using the buttons at the moment. 
There we have some text weeble. We'll do that. So I can underscore, so I can get rid of this mod or such. So I'll just ignore it. The message is never used. Uh, and I'll get rid of those two. I'm never going to do increment and decrement. Uh, int can go, button can go for the moment. In fact, probably always, because I don't think I'll be using the button. And then I guess I can remove that for the moment. And we'll just have to remember to put it back. Okay, so we've got a clean test there. Shall we just see what we've got? We'll make the zip. So this is a normal, I was, te I was test checking out some stuff in uh, WP Quantum Pixie itself. So this is what it should look like eventually. Um, but we are going to put in our new rather different looking version just now. Uh, where are we? That's the wrong one. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh no, this is GitHub, isn't it? There. And we should have a wibble. We do. Okay, there's nothing extra in there. We just know that's coming from something like one password. So we are good. We have some Wibble uh, and not a lot of other functionality at the moment. Okay, I don't have much longer. Is there a couple of other just simple fields I can add? Oh, I'm not really... Hold on a minute. Okay, I need to test... I did that field in, really. So I'll take that. And we'll add in... Sample events. Um, empty. So that should still pass. Okay. We'll just add in the one here. Should fail. Make that true. Pass. Cool. Okay. That's good. All right. Is there another simple one we can do before packing up for the day? Uh, or Strings is difficult ish. I really want another boolean, but I haven't come on. Okay, we'll leave it there. Um, 
seems like a good place to finish up. I've just done all the build stuff. Um, that's working now. Uh, let's do some comments on it. Um, decode a JSON string field to build. That's not great. That needs changing, I think. Let's make that a little bit easier. Uh, we'll make that field name. Okay, something's gone really weird with my editor now. Why is that weird? Name for Field name. That worked. Okay. Okay. That's a little clearer. And I want to rename that though. That function, not quite right. Decode bill string. I want to call it something like decode Jason string build to build. That's a mouthful, but it does tell you what it does. Okay, so that should go bang now. Yeah, pass. Okay. Good. All right. Bang on time as well. Okay. Done. Right. Um, well, that was good. Uh, that was a little bit more successful the last time. Uh, so we now have a JSON string field which looks like a boolean return in a boolean and a couple of fields in the model set from that so that's great 
Um, next time I'll start looking at the strings, which presumably will be a lot simpler, and then we'll move on to the more complex stuff. Uh, but so uh, until next time, thanks for watching and take care. Bye.